plastic surgeries that ruined faces forever. Many women and men are unhappy with their appearance these days because of unrealistic beauty standards. But even some whose features are regarded as stunning still aren't satisfied with their looks. Let's share some amazing stories of people who ruin their faces by plastic surgeries. But before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel to get some interesting stuff. It isn't uncommon for celebrities and others in the public eye to undergo multiple cosmetic procedures and spiral into addiction, getting surgery after surgery until they become practically unrecognizable. Such was the case with Korean model Hang Mayoko, a beautiful woman who didn't see herself the way most others did. Everything about Korean model Hang Mayoko's plastic surgery addictions, along with before and after pictures. Why did she inject cooking oil on her face? Korean model and singer Hang Mayoko is more renowned because of her obsession with plastic surgery that's almost hard to believe. She later worsened her situation by injecting cooking oil on her face. Mayoko struggled with depression, anxiety, and mental health, in general prompting regular treatment and a great deal of care. Let's discuss her story in complete detail. People nowadays are striving to reach perfection in their lives, particularly when it comes to their looks. Plastic surgery is most commonly used in the entertainment industry where famed models are worried about their appearance. Hang Myoku, a Korean model, also became obsessed with cosmetic surgery, but the procedure left her with a completely deformed face. Myoku, who was born on the 8th of July 1963, had her first surgery at age of 28. Intrigued by it, she did work on her face multiple times and she gradually grew infatuated with it. Her primary obsession was to have a smooth texture and to appear more gorgeous than others. However, with the risk of terrible consequences, it had to be halted. Her surgeons eventually opposed her judgment and kept refusing to do further treatments on her, claiming that if she was pumped with silicone injections one more time, her face would become completely subjugated. Heng Myoku, on the other hand, was headstrong and unwilling to listen to the physicians, so she began to experiment with cosmetic enhancements on her own. Initially, she injected the entire bottle of commercial silicone onto her face. But because silicone was so pricey, she had to put a strong grip on her urge. But the Korean native, who had become infatuated with plastic surgery, couldn't keep it up for long. Because she couldn't afford silicones, she was left with no choice except to infuse cooking oil into her face, which radically turned her life upside down. The cooking oil manipulations did not help the cosmetic enhancements she desired but instead caused her cheeks and forehead to become puffy and disfigured. Hang's scarred face was the result of her desperate need for plastic surgery, and she appeared so mangled that even her parents failed to recognize her. Mayoku was subsequently taken to the doctor, where it was determined that she suffered from a psychological illness over which she had no control. The model, who was previously a well-regarded figure in Korean entertainment business for her modeling and singing abilities, is struggling to make a living in the modern world due to her fixation with enhancing her physical beauty by going under the knife. Prior to her obsessions, the Korean model was undeniably one of the finest at her peak, with a bright and appealing radiance in the face. However, watching how Mayoku's facial structures evolved over the course of her multiple treatments tells us that surgical procedures are not always good. When word of Hang Mayoku's obsession spread, she received financial backing from her fan base to undertake reversal surgery. Her preliminary recovery procedure only removed 60 grams of foreign material from her facial region and merely 200 grams from her neck. Hang then endured a series of corrective surgeries to restore her former appearance, despite the fact that the pain had already been inflicted. Her face became close to recovery from swelling after about a dozen reversal treatments, but much of her facial scars turned permanent and more visible than before. She was employed at The Beautiful Shop, a recycled clothing store, in 2013. Mayoku is still breathing today, but her condition is as terrible as it can be due to her addictions to treatments and surgeries. News of Mayoku's story spread quickly, with some people taking pity on her and sending donations so she could have surgery to fix her enlarged, swollen face. While doctors were able to reduce its size, her face is permanently disfigured. Though it's sadly not possible, the now 57-year-old just wishes she could have her old face back, though she did this to herself. I can't help but feel sorry for Mayoku. I definitely believe mental illness played a role in her plastic surgery addiction. Next, we have another same story of Chinese actress. Plastic surgery is booming in China, with over 15.2 million patients estimated to have gone under the knife last year, according to a report by Chinese market research firm iMedia. 
A Chinese actress has shared shocking photos of her nightmare botched nose operation, warning fans of the dangers of cosmetic surgery. Gao Liyu posted candid pictures of her post-surgery face on China's Twitter-like Weibo platform, which showed a part of her nose blackened with dead flesh. She wrote to her 5 million followers that the experience had left her feeling suicidal and cost her several acting jobs. I had thought that these four hours of surgery would make me more beautiful, but I didn't realize that they would be the beginning of a nightmare," she wrote. Gao said she hoped the surgery would improve her acting career, but what she thought was a micro-adjustment to graft cartilage onto the tip of her nose in late October left it infected, requiring repeated follow-up surgeries," she wrote. Gao said she was then hospitalized for 61 days and lost some 400,000 yuan about $61,800 in work. Photos she posted on her face show a clear patch of blackened flesh on the tip of her nose, as well as bandages and bruising. Her post this week has sparked sympathy online, and the hashtag Why Is Cosmetic Surgery Becoming More and More Common had gained 330 million views on Weibo by Friday. I feel so bad for Galio. Everyone should take this as a warning and be aware of the risks of cosmetic surgery," wrote one user in a comment liked more than 100,000 times. We should emphasize natural beauty," wrote another. A local health bureau in the southern city of Ganzhou, where the clinic is located, has confirmed it was investigating the matter, reported Chinese media. China became the second largest market for plastic surgery in the world in 2020, worth over $14 billion, according to a report by Daozhu Consulting. Medical disputes in the sector are rampant, and iMedia has estimated that only 12% of China's 13,000-plus beauty clinics are compliant with laws and regulations. Many patients are young women influenced by high beauty standards set by celebrities and ubiquitous online influencers. The same tragedy has also happened with a young girl, Sahar Tabar, a young woman who shocked the internet with her shocking appearance, which she claimed was the result of botched plastic surgery to look like Angelina Jolie, has finally come clean. It was a hoax. Sahar Jabbar claimed to have gone under the knife more than 50 times in a bid to look like the smoldering A-lister, with results that looked more harrowing than Hollywood. But while many media organizations were suckered in by the story, Sahar has admitted that she faked the whole thing, and the clues were there all along. While it's unclear what made the 19-year-old Iranian come clean, it certainly seems likely that the harassment that came along with her brief online fame played a part as the teen has since changed her Instagram to private. Tabar told Russian news outlet Sputnik that she doctored the nightmare-inducing photos as a way to amuse herself. Now I can see that I have something in common with Angelina Jolie, but I amuse myself and to look like someone is not my goal. But if amusing herself with practical jokes doesn't work out for her, the teen may have a future in cosmetic industry. Rather than being the result of plastic surgery, the teen's new look was actually created through a combination of makeup and Photoshop, although she may have to work on the Photoshop skills. Prior to admitting the hoax, multiple social media users had raised suspicions over the validities of the teen's pictures after noticing warped backgrounds and odd angles in some of the photos. Telltale signs photo-altering software had been used. Speaking about the altered photos, Tabar said, "'My fans know that this is not my real face. We aren't quite sure what fan she's referring to, but people do seem relieved at the teen's startlingly normal appearance, which has been revealed after untouched photos of her emerged. At last, if you could go to a random dentist and have Botox done with a Groupon, but why not carefully research doctors first? Seek care from a skilled, board-certified plastic surgery who will prioritize your care. You want to go to someone who can say, this is best for you, not this is best for me," said Matarasso. Plastic surgeons are trained as much as heart surgeons. Besides cosmetic procedures, many also perform complex procedures like breast cancer reduction and pediatric birth defects. That's all for today's stories. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends and loved ones.